What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all for hanging out and listening to my rambles and what I got to say. Let's talk about 3D printing. Uh, is it taking over? Model railroading in particular? I don't think so, but there's a lot of 3D printing going on in, in our hobby, right? Um, <clears throat> Everybody and their mom has a 3D printer now. I got two. Um, it's just something you can really dive into. And uh, as we've seen, you know, you can make a business off of it. Um, I don't think it's going to take over because you have these bigger companies like Walther's and any other company that creates little things that we need for the layout to make it look uh, realistic. I think 3D printers, as in people, will need to figure out certain things that people don't have readily available that you can get from Walther's or something. So you have to start seeing how you can separate yourself. But no, I don't think it'll take over. Um, most people that have their own 3D printers are probably just printing stuff for themselves and not really trying to uh, uh, create a business out of it. The ones that are, um, you know, they're, they're just, they have their niche of what they want to print and what they're printing um, and you're able to grab that stuff from them. So I love 3D printing, you know, you, there's other aspects to that as far as you know what software and all that stuff so we'll talk more about that once we get into the video but the the conversation i want to have with y'all is um what do you think about 3d printing in the model railroading uh world is it effective should it be done uh, i say yeah do you uh with that said, let's just check out the video. Let's talk some more about it. And uh, I'll see y'all at the end of the other video. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some 3D printing, right? Um, we all know that you can print a bunch of various items uh, via 3D printing figurines and all that stuff, but we, we gonna focus a little more on model railroading in particular. Um, and then there's, you know, several different types of uh, printers that you can do and different uh, items that you can print. You can print resin, you can print filament, uh, and there's other material that can be printed and 3D modeled and you can just do a bunch of things with a 3D printer. <clears throat> As we go into more of the uh, model railroading aspect of it, you know, there's things that you can get, and then there's also other things that you can't get. Um, for me personally, that's kind of why I got a 3D printer. Um, not just for model railroading because I, like I said I like printing everything but when there's something that I specifically want for my layout I can model it and print it and speaking of modeling that's a whole nother aspect of this whole 3d printing thing um, I went to school for 3d modeling uh, a little bit and then I understand the process of doing that having vertices and all that stuff to to uh, low poly counts so so the print will come out right crispy and clean and all that stuff then there's slicers that you got to understand um, slicing software to for the printer to read how many layers of that item is uh, will take to create your object and I don't want to bore you with all that stuff. Again, this is just us 
talking about 3D printing and how it um, affects model railroading, whether in a good or bad way. I think it's a good way for, like I said, people to print stuff off that can't find what they want or even if they can I mean at this point if you have a 3d printer now you can just print whatever you need um, there are uh, places out there like thingiverse and a um, couple other shapeways couple other places where you can get stuff that someone who knows how to model you can just get the uh, dot stl file and that's what the slicer reads so you can fix it and make it uh, work with your printer i'm not really sure how a filament printer works but i do know it's it's fed from a spool of for the lesser term plastic that gets melted and it creates the the object uh, 3d printers work a little differently but for the for the most part it's still creating layers like the filament printer does but the resin printer is a little more smoother and has greater detail that it can uh, capture so what do I think about uh, as it pertains to model railroading um, here you can see that I've been working on this uh, dumpster um, that I've created in an iPad app actually so you know by knowing some 3d software and now that I, it's mobile I can take my iPad and create objects or things that I need for my layout anywhere honestly um, but here I created this dumpster that I have not seen anyone have this dumpster you know you got the dumpsters where people create that dumpster fire little dumpster with the lids that flip backwards or you have the big trailer dumpsters that um, I guess larger trucks would come and you know let off the back and like a rolling dumpster that's what I mean but these are really standard dumpsters that I have not seen anyone have so I was like well let me make some of these and uh, they've actually uh, been received well in, in our hobby so for me, I think 3D printing is pretty cool for uh, model railroading. I know a lot of uh, folks and I don't want to be that guys like uh, just the older people don't understand. But from what I've seen, it was just a lot of older folks don't understand how 3D printing works and the benefits of it. Um, I'm not trying to get rich off of it, but, you know. If I can make a few bucks here and there with the, these devices that I have here, uh, why not? And I say the same for anyone else. I think it's just another tool, you know, that everyone can grasp and get an understanding and either make stuff for you personally or make stuff for your friends. Um, you can share files and all that stuff. Um, and you can just understand how <clears throat> I feel like 3D printing is a, a good thing for the hobby and the hobbyist, you know. And what are your thoughts? You know, that that's the thing. I, I, I'm really curious as to what other people think and feel about uh, 3D printing. Do you think it's a waste of time? Uh, because everyone has one and everyone's like putting up stuff and you know not understanding fully how uh, uh, 3d modeling is done so you have some stuff that's not as clean and crispy as some other companies or other individuals um, or are you just like you know what Walther's or whoever has all the stuff that I need I'm just curious Again, here I'm just finishing up this uh, dumpster. Someone ordered some dumpsters and they actually wanted me to um, weather it and tag it. So that's kind of all I'm doing. I think with these 
dumpsters though I will do several different um, reiterations of them so you can get them plain with nothing just straight off the the printer or I can do you know this type of stuff or even add stuff to it so I think again for me it's just like ah, it's, it's a cool thing to do right and it's always something cool to learn so I'd say if you're out there and you want to learn dumpster or dumpsters if you want to learn 3d printing and just get a better handle on it uh, one you can hit me up uh, I'm always on Facebook at pro scale models you got any questions just ask away I don't mind answering anything um, and just do some YouTube searching you know and make sure uh, you do your due diligence and get a clear understanding of what's happening um, it's not hard easy to do and quite fun you get to print other stuff too so I think that's all and I will uh, wrap this up peace All right, and that's my take on 3D printing. Again, like I said at the beginning, I don't think it'll ruin or harm the, the industry as far as hobby, railroading, um, or anything else, right? 3D printing is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Um, and if you are, you know, entrepreneur or you're trying to start your own business I just say get in where you fit in you know figure out stuff that people don't have and, and mass produce it make it good and uh, I think you'll be all right so and so I want to thank all my patreon folks for uh, hanging out over on that side of the internet I appreciate the support I love all of y'all every one of y'all as the y'all scroll up I appreciate y'all for real. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I do have dumpsters that I've been printing off. You can check out the link below at my store. What else? What else? Oh, I got Amazon. Amazon has seen fit that I have a storefront. So everything you see as I do these videos and all that, all that stuff is out there on the store. Um, if you're looking for stuff, just go there and grab it. I think I get, I don't know how much, but it's a very small percentage, but I'm hustling. I'm a hustler. Anyway, check out the Amazon store. Check out my store and my website, the link, grab some dumpsters. And yeah, don't be like the other kids, man. Grab some good dumpsters. Next video. <laughs>